Hello and welcome back to Fighting 50 in Susie's Garden. Today I'm going to talk about the pomegranate tree and why the fruit has been splitting. See, my pomegranate tree looks great in some areas, but I noticed that there is quite a bit of fruit split open. And unfortunately, even though I know better than to do this, I did do it. And so I want to share with you because a huge amount of my pomegranates are split open. And it's such a shame when you see that because, I mean, at least the birds have plenty to eat. There's been so many fires, so the birds are searching and I'm happy that they get a meal here. There is way too many pomegranates that have split completely open. Like, I want to say 40, no, maybe 30% of my pomegranates are split open. Tree that just gave fruit for the first time since it's been growing gave me two pomegranates this year so I cannot complain these are not split open and I'm gonna tell you why so here in California we've had quite some dramatic weather we had two heat waves one severe in August and then at the beginning of September we had an a heat wave that hit 115 in Southern California, so it's pretty crazy. Um, but anyway, my my established uh, pomegranate tree, we don't really have to water it quite often because uh, pomegranate trees are uh, drought and heat resistant, and you really don't need to be concerned with regularly watering them. Um, you could water them twice a month and it's perfectly fine. Well, the problem is that even though I know you shouldn't all of a sudden water your uh, fruit trees, any of them for that matter, uh, because it was so hot, I just thought, oh my goodness, let me go out and water the fruit trees. Unfortunately, if you don't water your fruit tree for a while and then you go and water it, you're going to cause the fruit to expand and grow quicker than the actual skin. And so it will pop open, crack, split. And the, that's what happened. It happens with oranges or any other citrus fruits. If you are regularly watering them, even the pomegranate tree, uh, let's say you water it every single week, then that's never going to happen because it's consistently getting that water and it's growing according to the water you're giving it. But if you do not give it that water and then all of a sudden you give it that water, it just sucks it in, expands, and your fruit will split. So I did something I know I shouldn't by becoming desperate because it was so hot. I didn't want my plants and trees to die so I and I and and this is a good note I did not overwater in the sense of giving it a ton of water I just watered it when I normally didn't so I just watered it for a few minutes and um, it caused all that da damage so you need to be very consistent watering you don't want to change that schedule of watering abruptly because it'll damage your fruit so it didn't happen to my little pomegranate tree because I was watering that pomegranate tree exactly consistently and I didn't change my watering schedule with the baby pomegranate tree. I was watering it uh, more often because it's still, a uh, still growing and as your pomegranate tree grows, you wanna make sure it's watered more than once it's matured and it's grown, then you don't have to worry about it and it can resist longer periods of time without being watered. So I 
this is a short, quick tutorial, but I thought it was very important and I wanted to get that information out to you. So don't be abrupt. We're getting another heat wave in uh, uh, the California area. So do not be desperate and run out there and water your fruit trees inconsistently because you're gonna damage them instead of help them survive. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Hit notifications to know when I post. And of course, subscribe. That would be wonderful. Anyway, have a great and blessed, wonderful day. Bye.